If you want to become a Pinterest verified merchant, you're most likely going to need to go through the process of uploading your products to your Pinterest account. You can do that either using an integrated market platform or you can do that by uploading a data feed via a CSV file. But how do you do that step by step? Let's see. Hi, I'm Lydia and on this channel we talk about social media marketing for business and making more money online. If you're interested in these topics, make sure to click the subscribe button below. The first thing you need to be aware of is that these are the only countries that the Pinterest Verified Merchant program is now available in. So if you have access to ads but you don't have access to uploading a data feed, this is probably why if you're not in one of these countries. So you will not be able to tag your products and pins and get the Verified Merchant badge. The next thing you want to do if you want to become a Pinterest verified merchant is optimize your Pinterest account for business. You need to optimize it for SEO, create boards, add pins, and generally be active. Pinterest will not accept you in the program if you don't have a social media presence on Pinterest. So make sure to watch this playlist right here to learn exactly how to optimize your Pinterest account from scratch. Now the first part of your approval for this program is claiming your website. You need a customized domain for your website that you can claim on Pinterest. For that, go to to settings, go to claim, website, and add your website link. You can use either the HTML version or the DNS text tracker version to verify your domain. Choose whatever one suits you best, add the code to your website or to your domain provider, and then click claim. Now remember, it can take a little while for that code to embed into your website, so you might want to come in the next few days and verify it if you can claim it in the first day. Next, if your website platform is among the one listed here, you can go directly and integrate one of those for your products to automatically sync into your Pinterest account. So you will not need to upload a data feed. But if your platform is not among those websites right there, you will need to do this manually and upload a data feed manually of your product. Now the good news is that almost any e-commerce platform allows you to export a data feed of your product, of your product's titles, descriptions, price, and more information in a CSV file that you can upload to Google Sheets. That will make it a lot easier for you to copy and paste some rows in the Pinterest data feed. To start doing that, go to the link below and download the data feed example in CSV format from Pinterest. To easily edit that without paying, you can go to Google Sheets and import that CSV file there and then start editing it. Next, you want to start adding information on your product. For some rows, such as the product title, you can directly copy the row from one Excel file to another and that will make it a lot easier for you to upload all your products in that data feed without having to type them manually. Once you're done with filling it out, download it as a CSV file again and go to Pinterest to upload it. Your products should now be added and synced properly in your Pinterest products catalog. It can take a while for the data feed to be accepted, so again, check later if it doesn't happen immediately. If you're still looking for help with your Pinterest verified merchant application, in this video right here, I share exactly how the process should work step by step. And in this one right here, I share some errors that might come up when you're trying to enable this feature and exactly what you need to do to fix them. So make sure to watch those videos as well to get the complete solution for your Pinterest shop. Because some of the issues you might be facing with rejection for the program can also be connected to your website and how well it is designed and the information that you have on it. So by watching those videos, you will get the solutions to those problems. So there you go. This is how you upload a data feed of your product, a CSV file to your Pinterest shop and get approved as a Pinterest verified merchant. If you've enjoyed this video and it helped you out, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe down below for more such content every single week. You can also follow me on Instagram and on TikTok at Lidarankaming Success for more content on growing online with social media and making more money. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video.